Hello and welcome to a numbers edition of Apple A Day. This is the first episode of a new series on text functions for Apple Numbers. Today I'll be covering the clean function. This will be a short tutorial, so I'll get right to the point. The clean function simply strips out all characters with a Unicode value from 0 to 31. Now Unicode is a standard character set that is used worldwide. All text characters have a Unicode value. For example, the capital letter A has a value of 65. Unicode is derived from ASCII, that's A-S-C-I-I, which was limited to 128 characters, whereas Unicode can have well over 140,000 characters. Unicode values from 0 to 31 are non-printing characters and can sometimes appear as an upside down question mark depending on the text editor being used. The codes to indicate a line feed or a carriage return are also included within this range of 0 to 31. So let me demonstrate. I've got a numbers document open with some sample text in the first column. And in the second column on the first row, I'll type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor. Then I'll type in clean and press return. And the clean function takes a single parameter, which is the cell that we want to clean. I'll select the cell from the first column and press return. It displays the cleaned result. We can do a quick check to see if there's anything different between the two cells. I'll add a testing formula using the if function. In the next column, I'll type in the equal sign again, and then I'll type in if and press return, and I want to see if these two cells are the same. So I'll select the first cell under column B, and then I'll type in the equal sign, and then select the cleaned cell under column C. So what we're doing is comparing the first cell with the second cell, and if they're equals, then it's going to return true. So I'll press the tab to move to the if true parameter. So I'm just gonna type in an opening and closing double quote. So if it's true, this cell would just be empty. Then I'll press tab to go to the if false parameter and I'll type in the word differences in double quotes. So to recap, the if is checking if these two cells are the same and if they are the same, it's gonna just display empty text. But if they're different, then it will display the word differences. So if I press return, you can see that nothing is displayed. So the clean function didn't really have anything to clean with this text. It's exactly the same. I'm going to copy these formulas and paste them into the rest of the rows. So you can see that none of this text is changed by using the clean function. But the last one did, as you can see by the word differences. The clean function removed the carriage returns since this text is now on one line. But did it remove anything else? Numbers doesn't display the bad characters in any visual way, but I can look at this text in a text editor to see what it might look like. I have bbedit installed on my Mac, so here you can see the upside down question marks I was talking about indicating unprintable characters. So take this character after the A in the word Apple. Let's look at this in another editor which will show me the values of each character. I have this opened in a hex editor application and I can look closer at that character. If I select it, over here it highlights and shows me that it has a value of 7 which of course falls within the 0 to 31 range. It's an unprintable character. And that's the kind of character that numbers will strip out. So when would you use this? Well, the clean function can be very useful if you're copying text from another source, such as a website, and then pasting it into your numbers document. It also works well if you wanted to remove carriage returns and to see your text on a single line. There are functions you may want to use on top of clean to help remove unwanted characters. Functions like substitute or replace, I'll be doing tutorials on those functions and more in an upcoming episode. Well, that's it for today. That's the clean function in Apple Numbers. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm John Martins, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.